Hi, my name is Ken Colby. I'm the author of Laser Photo Wizard. As you know, Laser Photo Wizard started out as a means of taking images and making them, uh, preparing them for engraving. And this is a tricky deal because most engravers don't have a lot of contrast. So in order to or, uh, convert the image to black and white and still retain contrast, we have a, numerous settings that uh, makes it easy for every situation. So Laser Photo Wizard got very good at, at engraving photos and I decided one of the things that we could add is maybe to create boxes. So I came up with this concept called generators. And in generators is uh, kind of what it sounds like. It generates input for a laser engraver. We, uh, in the past we, versions, we had a box generator and a birdhouse generator. And the box generator could create trays or boxes, and obviously the birdhouse generator can create uh, birdhouses. In fact, it creates three different styles of birdhouses, uh, which was kind of a fun project to learn all about different birdhouses. But anyways, today's talk's about connected, the connected text generator. So let's take a look at that. So connected text is kind of what it sounds like. So here we have uh, some text that's sitting on a, on a pedestal. So the, the text is connected by the base. So that's one way that we can have connected text and, and obviously the easiest way. But let's try a, something more complicated. Let's, uh, let's give it a fancier font. So, so I like this John, John Hancock font. Now if we create it, you can see we can do pretty fancy stuff and it sits on a nice base. But let's go with the word family. Now you see because it has a Y, the base, we need a little more base. And also let's, let's change this to family with base. So we'll make the base about maybe 35% of it. Let's see. Yeah, that looks nice. So now we have uh, a nice font with a nice name and everything's connected. But look at here, the, the eye is missing. Or it's not connected to anything. It's going to fall off when, after we engrave this. So we can just live with that. Um, or we can have uh, the laser engraver cut out the eye and then later just glue it on. But if we don't want to do that, we can, uh, I've added something called a surround radius. So let's do a surround radius of 0.1. Okay, so now you see the surround radius is going to connect that eye. So the laser is going to cut out around the surround radius. It actually makes the text pop a little better. So that's the second option. So those are, uh, you know, two things that you can do. The other thing you might want to do is you might want to write some stuff on the base here. So let's give it some extra base, maybe a, a half inch. So it's already a pretty big base. There, so now we could write in here, the jo Jones family reunion or something, whatever. Or you could say employee of the month and then put the guy's name in here or put the guy's name up here and put employee of the month down there. Whatever you want to put in here uh, is fine. So the other thing is that we don't really have to have a base if we don't want to. So we could get rid of the base and we could get rid of the extra base. And we can generate connected text. And now this would all be one piece, but look at the F is not connected to the A. So to fix that, we'll just give it just a little bit more. There. So now this is like the third option where you can have the fully connected uh, text with no base. So depending on the font and, uh, and the um, text that you use, you're going to have different settings to make it look nice. Now in the past you had 
hire a graphics artist to make connective text. But this is dog simple and how it works. So let's go back. We're going to backtrack a little bit. Let's go back to point one and give an extra base of point five. Just because this is the uh, I forgot to get the connector base, 35, there we go. Okay, so this is our thing and we're, we're saving it in something called family base. Now notice this thing's seven inches wide, so that's pretty wide. Uh, now you can go to setup, utilities, and you could edit image sizes and you could add an image size to hold your font. And I've already done this so we don't have to fool with it. I've made a really long a 4 inch by 20 inch someplace here. Here we go. Horizontal output. Okay so now when you actually want to engrave what the generator made you go to effects, text and images and add an image. Load Let's go to Documents, Green Screen Wizard. It's going to put it in Connected Text Output and Family Base. So the first one we just load. Okay. Then we add a second image. You can see it's all black. And we're going to use this as vectors. Okay. takes a while to compute and now the vectors are going to cut, cut that out. So the reason I did the one with the base is now normally you'd just be done and you'd go and and uh, uh, you, you go and just send it to the laser. But in this case we, we put the base out so that we could add some text. So let's add some text. Family. Okay, so this is my family. And again, we could, let's go bold and italic. Now here's, here's the other trick. Normally you, your font color is black, but we're gonna put it in the base. We don't want black on black, so we have to set it to white. Okay, and we drag it in and we see it's just a little bit too big. Now I'm using the right uh, I'm holding down the right button and pulling. There we go. So there you go. You know, I might have been a little weird about this count. If you hold down the right button and, and drag up and down, you can uh, scale the text and move it around. So there you go. And now you can just either save it or you could, uh, and output it, you know, through photo or uh, Corel Draw, or you can send it to a laser if you have a printer driver. So that's the basics of doing connected text. I I've actually been doing a whole bunch of these. Uh, they seem very popular with my friends. They, they make great party favors. Um, and so hopefully it'll be a, not only a fun project, but maybe a moneymaker for you. Anyways, have a great day. Thanks for listening.